To quickly recap, we're building the next two sections of our challenge site together, starting with a grid. Go ahead and add another section under the one we built in your first challenge. Then click on the section and choose the section grid layout. Let's use this one, the three cell collage. We want the bottom right cell to be more narrow, so we can drag it from here and make it smaller. To add a bit of space around the cells, Click on the section and under position in the inspector, add some padding to all sides. Now, we'll adjust the left big cell in the grid. Change the background color of this cell on the left to purple. And add a little padding inside this container as well. Drag four more elements from the save library onto the canvas, the about title, the paragraph, and the two buttons. Put the buttons next to each other under the paragraph and align them. Now, set the title to scale proportionally and give it a minimum font size. Then set the paragraph to wrap. As for the buttons, let's stack them and adjust the spacing. If we resize the canvas, you can see we have some overlapping here. So to fix that, stack them all together and set our item spacing. And also align the items within that new stack to the left. We want this stack to be docked to the bottom left, so we can align it like this. And let's add some padding to the top of the stack so when we resize the screen, there'll always be a bit of a buffer. One last element in this cell, drag the logo from the library and align it to the top left here. Now we can change the color of the bottom right cell to this dark gray and add some padding here. Next, drag this title from the saved library and place it at the top left. Then we'll add the paragraph and place it underneath the title and resize the paragraph's text bounding box to fit this cell better. The title should already be set to scale proportionally, but let's add a minimum size here so it won't get smaller than 35 pixels. This paragraph should also wrap. Now we can stack both of these elements and adjust their item spacing, making sure that this stack is exactly in the center vertically. And finally, for the top right cell, we can click on Add Media, and find the image we want by searching Essentials Course. Now let's add rounded corners to all of the cells by changing the corner radius. And we'll need to add corners to the image itself here too. And add some gaps here horizontally and vertically. Now let's look at the other breakpoints. Tablet looks good, but we need to adjust the buttons a bit. So change the direction of the stack to vertical and have them fill the width of the stack by dragging these handles and making each button a little taller. And also adjust the font size. Now take a look on mobile and change the layout to rows. Let's make these buttons larger and increase the font size. We can add some more space between the rows in this entire section by making the vertical gaps larger. Let's give this one more look on preview. Perfect, it looks good on all of our breakpoints. On to our next section, the repeater. We'll add another section. Start by setting a different background color and adding some padding to the entire section. Apply a grid of columns and add another cell below. Then resize that bottom cell to make it taller. Then add the title called our team header text from the library and place it in the top left cell and align it to the top left. We'll make sure it's set to hug with scale proportionally and add a minimum text size of 35 pixels. Next, add the paragraph called our team subheader text to the top right. I will resize this text box to have two lines at this point and align there to the top right as well. This paragraph should be set to wrap. Now let's add a repeater and place it at this bottom big cell. I'll add another item and add some gaps between each item. We'll set the number of items to four in the layout section of the inspector. Then resize the entire repeater so it covers the full section up to the padding. Click on one of the repeater items and resize its height and you'll see all of the item's heights will adjust with it. We're ready to add some content to the repeater. Add an image from our quick add panel and place it at the top of the item to cover the full width, but not the full height. Add this bold curved star 
from the saved library and place it under the image. Then drag the text called Team Member Name from the library as well and place it next to the star and change the responsive behavior to Hug. Then we can align both elements vertically and stack them. We can even stack this stack with our image and set the item's alignment to the center. Then add some item spacing. Just one last change here. I'll add a minimum size to this text of 16 pixels. We can make some more design changes here, like lowering the background opacity to make this transparent and adjusting the color of these stars. Okay, now we're going to change the images in each item. And as we're changing them, we'll quickly edit the name of each team member in each item. Lastly, to achieve that AB design pattern, first toggle the AB pattern on, then choose the image you want. And your first A item will adjust the corner radius to be slightly rounded. Then, change the corner radius of the image in item B to be more rounded, giving us two different designs to make up our pattern. Now, if we switch to tablet, we can make some final tweaks to clean up this design. Let's change the number of items per row to two and change the grid layout rows. For the paragraph, we can adjust the alignment to the left and add some top margins. And a final adjustment to the repeater here. Go ahead and change the corner radius of the images of the A items to three and the B items to 72. And if we jump to the mobile breakpoint, we can change the repeater's layout to list so it'll show each item one under the other. And adjust the bounding box of the paragraph again. Now adjust the corners of the images again. And lastly, align the stack underneath the image to the left. And take a look at the preview. Great, we have four items on desktop, two on tablet, and a list on mobile. Okay, the first three sections are good to go. In our next module, we'll take a deeper dive into different breakpoints and how you can adjust your designs for each. We'll also look at the responsive AI tool and how it can transform your design process. I'll see you there.